Hi everyone, Wolfring here. Uh, so today we're going to start a new series uh, focused on solving some inequality problems. Uh, we're going to update the series from time to time. So the first problem we're going to look at today is not a difficult one, but we want to introduce uh, a form of the Cauchy's inequality that is very effective, efficient for solving this kind of problem. Um, so let's look at the problem. We want to find the minimum value of square root of x squared plus y squared if 5x plus 12y equals to 60. So first, x and y satisfy a certain linear relationship. And then we want to evaluate x squared plus y squared, or the square root of it, basically the same. Um, so the most straightforward way to do it is that you uh, solve for x or y from this linear relationship, and you plug that into the target expression. Uh, you kind of uh, factor it out so that it becomes a perfect square plus something. So the minimum value is when the perfect square is zero. So um, it is doable, but the calculation is a little bit tedious. Actually, there's a better way to solve this. That's the one we're going to introduce today. First, we're going to look at a uh, one form of the uh, Cauchy's inequality. There's a famous one. But uh, there's other ones that is less famous, but is also very useful. In this case, we want to use this form. So if we have a, b, x, y real numbers, and the product of x, y, and x plus y is positive, if we have that, then we have this inequality. a squared over x plus b squared over y is larger or equal to a plus b squared over x plus y. And the um, equality happens if and only if a over x equals to b over y. OK? Um, this format is uh, a little bit less memorable, um, but it's, like I said, it's very, very efficient uh, to use that to solve uh, this kind of problem. So, first, let's prove uh, this. Uh, it's inequality. It's pretty straightforward. All we want to do is to check the difference between left hand side and right hand side. So just uh, minus the right hand side from the left hand side. And then we uh, um, simplify this just times all items with x, y, x plus y. You'll notice that um, when you do this, you can cross out a square x, y, b square x, y because it exists on both sides. And then you can have three items left, a square, y square, plus b square, x square, minus 2ab, xy, which is, happens to be a perfect square. It's ay minus bx square. Now, using the condition xy and x plus y, the product of that is positive. So uh, and the numerator is larger is a perfect square, so it's larger or equal to zero. So this whole thing is larger or equal to zero, and the equality happens when the numerator is zero, which means a y equals to b x, which is a over x equals to b over y. By the way, because x y and x plus y, the product of them is positive, so none of this is zero, which satisfies that x and y, neither of them are zero. Okay, so we have this one. When we ha once we have this equality, it's very, very straightforward to solve the original problem. So let's take a look. Because x squared plus y squared can be written as 5x squared over 25 plus 12y squared over 144. Okay, then we use the uh, inequality, the Cauchy's inequality, which is uh, proved. So this one, e larger or equal to 5x plus 12y square over 25 plus 144. Okay, and by the condition, 5x plus 12y is just 60. So this whole thing is larger or equal to 60 square over 13 square. So the minimum of square root of x square plus y square becomes 60 over 13. And not enough. We have to... Uh, give the value of x, y that can uh, reach this value. So 
in this case, x over 5 must equal to y over 12. So x equals to 5 over 12y. Plug that into the original equation. Uh, we got 13y over 12 equals to 60 over 13. So y is 12 squared times 5 over 13 squared. x is 5 squared times 12 over 13 squared. Okay? All of this is pretty straightforward with the help of that um, Cauchy's inequality. Last but not least, we want to actually explain this problem actually has a very clear uh, geometric meaning. So if you plot, you have if you plot uh, the condition, so 5x plus 12y equals to 60 is just a straight line here. Notice this is a right triangle with three sides as 5, 12, and because it's right triangle using the um, Pythagorean uh, theorem, so this one is 13. Now, square root of x squared plus y squared, the minimum, it means, the geometric meaning is that there's some point on this line, any point x, y, and this one means its distance from this point to the origin, okay? And in order to be this one, to, uh, for this one to be the minimum, all we need is to draw a line that is perpendicular to this line. And by definition, that's the distance between origin to this line. It's just the length of uh, that line section. So what we can do here is that uh, we basically uh, you can draw a circle and then um, the radius here is uh, perpendicular to this line. So this is the shortest distance. And it's pretty straightforward uh, because we know all three sides of this right triangle. Uh, this one is the height corresponding to uh, the side of 13. So this length is just 5 times 12 over 13. So we'll get, we'll get the same conclusion. And that's it for today.